Look, what? You can win an adventure. <laughs> what? You got all kinds of things on this thing, man. How could you go wrong with a Lunchable? Hey, what it do, GQ? It's your boy Ski Master Slump God. These are my 10 essentials. And welcome to my lifestyle, you dig? <laughs> Yes, indeed. The Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> this is the um, the chain that Yu-Gi-Oh had on, the actual chain that Yu-Gi-Oh had on. This was like a tribute piece, kind of. Me and Juice World was talking about him getting this piece in general, and since he wasn't able to do it, I just decided to do it myself. And it's also like a really big thing of my childhood. Like Yu-Gi-Oh was a really big thing of my childhood. I never used to have cable, so I used to watch like CBS, and I had to wait the Saturday mornings for it to come on. <laughs> like I used to dream about waking up and watching that. Shit, so yeah. Definitely Yu-Gi-Oh piece. You dig me? <laughs> What's funny about the do-rag is usually people tie it to the back, right? It's something that I started so long ago, bro. I didn't like it. I just looked so, I looked like a fucking men in black alien with it tied to the back, I felt like. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna tie it to the front. I was just was experimenting. First I had it like directly in the middle of my head. I had it like, I tried it all kind of ways and then I just tied it to, like with a knot to the front, like a shoelace and it just stuck. You know what I mean? And it, I don't know, for some reason it was just iconic after that. Everybody's just was like, okay, that's a new way to tie the do-rag, so we'll, we'll incorporate it too, you know what I mean? So it's crazy how like the do-rag, how far it's, it's come for me. I wanna have one of those do-rag lines where I'm just sitting up with an awkward picture on the front, like in, in some side of like a beauty supply store or some shit, you see me like touching my head like. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. Boom. Why I say this is an essential for me is because drip, you feel me? Like I'm one person that's really big on clothes and how I dress or what I'm wearing. You know what I mean? So this was just basically to add like clothing and drip into it. And I usually always have a fitted hat, not a snapback, not one of them motherfucking grip your head, <laughs> grip your head tight as hell hats. I always like fitteds. I, I do kind of fuck with the dad hats as well. And I fuck with the trucker hats as well. But um, usually my favorite hat will be definitely the fitted hat. So definitely the essential. Wow, I got my fucking cellular device. I handle all my, like, everything on here and I'm horrible with my phone on top of that. But one thing I do want to say that I have to add on top of the cellular device as an essential is the OtterBox, right? <laughs> boy, oh boy, am I horrible. I am so clumsy, like, I don't know what it is. Like, I dropped my phone, I've at least been through like, in the past year or so, I've been through like three, three or four phones, honestly, if I'm being honest. And I just got this phone refixed. I fixed the LCD screen out here just the other day, so. My favorite apps to use are definitely um, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Spotify, um, Netflix. I'm really big Netflix, and I'm a really big Crunchyroll. When I'm out traveling, I have to get my anime in, bro. I have to, so <laughs> Crunchyroll, I, I'm a, I have two year-long accounts on Crunchyroll and Funimation. I'm a weeb, most likely, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite animes right now would have to be Black Clover, Demon Slayer, the early seasons of Attack on Titan. Um, I like Promised Neverland right now. Jujutsu Kaisen is kind of going crazy right now. There's a lot of animes that I get it, that I that I like, man. A lot. So it's hard to name just a, a few. This is something that us Jamaicans call leaf. You can use Fronto. You can use Trees Wrap. But this is called grab a leaf, and um, we use it to smoke, like smoke spliffs. If you ever smoked spliff, it's basically like a weed with this leaf, which is basically kind of like a tobacco leaf. You crush it in there, or you just add it into whatever you're smoking, and you call it a spliff. Man, sometimes I'll be having to go on a hunt, or usually I have to bring them with me wherever I'm going. So out here, I got kind of lucky. They have them at the smoke shops out here in LA. Where I'm, where I'm from, more they're, they're more, sold like down south, like where I'm from, from Florida. So that's where I started smoking grab a leaf. So it's all over the stores in Florida, Atlanta, and more south. But when you get up north or we're out here near west, it's like kind of, you got to find it. A lot of Jamaicans or Islanders smoke like this, but I definitely do. I'm Jamaican this myself. My, both of my parents are Jamaican, so it's probably really what I get it from. Grab a leaf ting. Grab a leaf ting, dog. What you mean, dog? <laughs> hey, Bix. Yes, the Bix. 
No, 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 not the the scrawny, um, weak looking lighters that we be getting that be stressing our fingers out. The Bix, bro, I gotta have this. Also because I smoke Newports and I smoke Grabba, like I showed you, so gotta have the lighter with it, you know what I mean? Um, plus, I gotta have a pack of it because you know, professional thieves out here, it's like Assassin's Creed out here with these lighters, so gotta have a pack of me these. <laughs> I'm a really big person on like uh, intention or energy. So I feel like if you personally believe that that white lighter is bad luck, then you believe in that negativity will bring the bad luck to you. You know what I mean? So gotta have these. Even if it's not AirPods, I'm usually, I'm usually rocking some type of uh, headphones with me. Usually I have the big headphones that go over my ears because that's how I usually like to listen to music, especially with traveling and being on a plane and having the, the noise cancellation. So. AirPods is always a big, really big essential for me. I'm always listening to music, always. Always listening to Erica Badu, Grimes, some beautiful nostalgic How, how do you write your raps? Yeah, so when I'm going throughout my day, I'll probably just write through my, if I have something fire that I have in my head, I'll just open my notes and write it down. Even if it doesn't go to a beat so far and somehow I would squeeze that into a fire ass beat that I like, I would find some way to put it into a fire ass beat. I would find some type of flow that I could fit it and then I would just fit that into there. Keyboard and mouse. I am a video game freak. I play all kinds of games and I just started getting into more of uh, keyboard and mouse gaming. I'm really into f Call of Duty, Rust, Apex Legends, all kinds of crazy sh RuneScape was like the first game I used with keyboard and mouse. It was definitely tough for me to figure out the controls because I haven't really used a keyboard and mouse on, uh, like since I was like younger when I was in school. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't even have to be a Logitech. It could be any kind of keyboard or mouse or even an Xbox 360 controller. As soon as I'm done with this interview with you guys, I'm about to bust this thing open and play some video games with it. Boom, bang, bow. What you mean, huh? Huh? Yeah, you know you've seen these. Come on now, son. You can't tell me this is not an essential. At some point in your life, <laughs> they even got the little, they got the Bev. Not only do you got the food, you got the Bev. You need the Bev, so. I mean, I can slap these at any time of day, lunch, breakfast, dinner, it really don't matter. So these these specifically are the cracker ones, you know what I mean? I mean, I really get, I can, I can get into it all. I get freaky, get the, get the nachos, get the, the pizza, you feel me? Make a crazy little pizza, slap that tomato sauce on there. I mean, Lunchables is goaded, so had to add it, for sure. Wow, get a close up on that mo light you did. <laughs> you gotta get the nutrition facts on there, G. I go out, I drink, I be waking up feeling like I got beat up by a poltergeist or something, like a ghost or some shit. When I drink this, I wake up feeling good, my muscles are relaxed, you know what I mean? I can, I can go on about my day <laughs> after a long night of drinking, so. Pedialyte, important, important. I thought it was just for babies too. And it's crazy, I, I just got put on to Pedialyte at least last year. At least last year, you know what I mean? And what's crazy is I was like, what am I, stupid? I could have been doing this. I used to be drinking Gatorades and stuff like that, hot, warm Gatorades, but this is definitely better. Definitely better to replace those electrolytes, get you a Pedialyte, you feel me? Boom. Gotta have this, I mean like, if this mother was out the rapping, I would have turned it on for y'all, let it vibrate for you a little bit. <laughs> we could have got even more freaky. So for me, I've never really had um, braces or anything like that, and I don't have um, veneers either, so I really gotta be taking care of my teeth. I drink brown liquor the majority of the time and stuff too, so. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, I had to hit the dentist for him to tell me like, yeah, dude, you need to start flossing more. <laughs> he was like, you gotta floss because you smoke weed, and I was like, yeah, all right. My floss game has been impeccable lately, I'm not gonna lie. And it's usually always a um, mechanical toothbrush. I don't know why, I just be feeling fancy with these motherfuckers, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, thank you guys for coming and checking out my 10 essentials. I hope that you re can relate to my lifestyle. <laughs> and until uh, next time. <laughs>